Alright, today we will be making a Beast Simulator All Dinosaurs tier list. So, before we get started, I'd like to thank you guys for 14 subscribers. That is so cool. Thank you. Anyway, so we're going to be making a tier list of all the dinosaurs in Beast Simulator. We're going to start on the herbivore section and lead our way to the flyer section. If a dinosaur is really good, that'll be into S tier, which is the best tier. And then, and then F tier is being the worst tier. So we're going to start with Apatosaurus. I'm going to use three things to basically determine rank, my ranking. So the first thing is how it does against other things, so other matchups. The second thing is survivability, like how easily it can be survived on on the official servers. And number three is my experience playing the dinosaur. So a Patasaurus, I really like Patasaurus. I grew one to 5.97 on officials. It was really fun. It, it does really well against other matchups, and it has amazing survivability. You can, like, 1v8 on Apo, which is so cool. Obviously not every time, but you have the capabilities of doing so, which I really like. And my experience on Apo has been really good, so I'm going to put that straight into S tier. Lotusaurus. Honestly, Lotusaurus is really fun. It basically can win any encounter in the aquatic realm. On land, it actually goes really does really well against land creatures as well, except Rex, but obviously, I mean, it's a Lervis Rex, but I'm honestly going to put that in A tier. It is really good. Orctodromius. Now, I wish I could play this creature, but because I live in South Africa, um, I have really bad connection to the official servers, which is in America, so I can't really play that without major desync, so that's going into F tier. Goodbye. Actually, Cephalosaurus. I really like Paki. It's a, it does its job pretty well. It's like a punt ambush animal, I think. Um, I enjoy playing Paki a lot. Maybe I'll make a Paki video in the future. I'm not sure. But I think it's got good survivability on O2. You can just run away from things. Other matchups, uh, it can only kill a few things, really. With a group, obviously, it's different. And if you're big, it's different. But we're not really accounting that. Um, my experience on Patchy was really good, so I'm going to put that into, hmm, C tier. Parasaurolophus. This is probably the most common dinosaur on official 2, um, or at least until Paleo dropped. It's, it's honestly really fun to play with the group. It's not really amazing to play solo because you get kind of like 6v1 all the time because you're a walking meatloaf, but it does really well against other matchups. If, if it can't kill something in a 1v1, you can just run away from it, generally. Survivability, it's probably one of the best things that can survive on Official 2, because you, you can just run away from practically anything, and the things you can't run away from, you can just kill pretty easily. And my experience with Para has been great. I don't grow big because I'm reckless, but honestly, that's getting an A tier. Sidechainia, this is my favorite playable. It's... It's got such a cute model, such a nice Aldermorph. Let me show that real quick. Like, look at that. That is just incredible. Against other matchups, this is probably the best thing. It can win any matchup, any time, any place, almost. Um, it, de it really depends on skill, because the skill ceiling for Sychenia is really high. I say that it's not a difficult dinosaur to play, but it's more game knowledge that wins you some fights at least personally. My experience on Sychenia has been really well. I have a like 30 minutes worth of clips on Sai, which I will probably make a video on soon. Let me know if you want to see that. <laughs> so I'm going to put that into S tier, along with Apatosaurus. I am biased because I love those dinosaurs. <laughs> Koa, Hail, Ceratops. I don't know how, that, how to say that, so I'm just going to say Koa. So Koa, I really enjoyed playing Koa. It's got great um, abilities. Not really abilities, but it's 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 fun to play. I don't know how to describe it. Against other matchups, it does not really do that well. It's it struggles a lot with multiple groups of things, and if it's solo, then you might as well just quit the game unless you're unless you know what you're doing and you're somewhat large. But my experience on Koa was really fun because I played with my friends on Koa, so I can't really say much about that. I never really played it solo. But I know that a lot of people struggle with Koa, so I'm going to put that in D tier. Sorry, Koa. Moving on to the carnivores section. Acrocanthosaurus is our first carnivore. 
I really enjoy playing acro, it's really fun. I have a few acro clubs, so maybe I'll start making an acro video soon. It's really fun to play. Against other matchups, it does really well. The only matchup it struggles with is um, APA, and APA and Para combo, which honestly everyone's, ever, everything struggles with that, so I can't really blame it. I'm probably going to put acro in A tier, right below Sychenia and APA. I, th I think it's really good. Hmm, Ichthy Ovianator. I I can't tell what I feel about this creature. Why is my mouth shaking so bad? Anyway, it's it was really fun to play at once at one point, but with all the paleos, you just get hit once for 100 venom, and then it's just not fun. So right now, I'm not the biggest fan of it. It it does well against Moza and Chrono and not really Lurd or. Elasmo, but it does pretty well against those, so it's got like half matchups good for it. Survivability, eh, you, you die to lords a lot, unofficial too at least, so I'm gonna put that in D tier. Sorry, Ikthi. We Heavenator. Mm, more like Megalosaurus. Anyway, I, I like playing We Heavenator or Megalo. It's, it's really fun to play, especially with the tendon tear. It can kill a lot of things if you play it right, or if you're a combat survival like me. But against other matchups, it does pretty well. Against para, it struggles, but I mean, that's a para, let's be real. Everything struggles with that, unless you're an apex. But um, it does pretty good against snake, I think. I haven't played it much since the paleo release, so I can't say much about that. Survivability on a 2, it can't really survive well. With all the Paleos and the Rexes that just run you down because 5 Swift Demon, it doesn't do great on Official 2. My experience on Megalosaurus was really good though. So honestly, I think I'm going to put that in B tier. Tyrannosaurus Lizard, the king of the jungle and probably the most popular dinosaur in existence. It's It struggles. It's not the scary thing it used to be a lot of things just dog on it it's kind of sad it's matchups against most of the roster it struggles with unless it has the ambush so unless it has the ambush it's kind of just a waiting game to see how long you last against the pack of mega raptors it struggles with a lot against appas it can't really kill appas it can kill paras if it gets a jump on it but that's about it and velos absolutely destroy it if the velo is smart so it does not have great um its survivability on o2 is not great either unless you have an organized group or a clan to self-feed you then you can't really get big and my experience on rex it has been good but i realized how weak it was or how bad i was at rex so honestly i'm gonna put that in s hmm hmm c tier all right velociraptor this is like Ori for me, I wish I could play it, but because I live in South Africa, my connection to the official servers is not great, so I get desync hit from 3 miles away, so that's going straight into F tier for me personally. Megaraptor. This is a really fun dinosaur to play if you have a group, or if you are just big and want to kill 1.2 new player appers, which is really fun. Um, its matchup against everything is really good, except Paleo. Paleo kind of destroys Megaraptor, but I think Megaraptor can run away. I don't know. I haven't played it since Paleo release, but I know that it struggles against Paleo. So, hmm, I'm going to put that in B tier. Actually, no, A tier, because it, it basically kills everything when you have a solid group and somewhat coordinated. So, on to the Flyers. First, we have Pterodon. Hmm, I haven't played PT much because just like Velo and Ori, it's small, which means it's more prone to desync, so I don't play it as much as I could. But I know that when I played it, a land PT, I had a lot of fun and I killed a lot of things. But right now, I'm actually not sure about its matchups against other things, but I assume it's not amazing. Um, there's not a lot of PTs, it's not popular, it doesn't have a lot of survivability because trope exists. So I'm going to put that in D tier. Tropio Gnacthus, I don't know how to say that, I'm just going to say Tropio. Tropio, I really enjoyed Tropio, I, I grew 1 to 4.41 officials, it was really fun, it could kill a lot of things surprisingly, and it had great survivability because it could eat fish, so you could basically grow as big as you want as long as you eat spawn gores and eat eggs. 
against other matchups, it does pretty well. You just have to be a bit bigger than most things in order to 1v1 them, but that's that's easy on Trope because you can just grow big really easily. I'm going to put Trope into B tier because you can basically choose every fight you take, meaning you can win every fight if you're smart and know what fights to take. E. Lasmo. I don't know why there's no ocean here, but whatever. I recently made an Elasmo video. It was pretty fun. It could kill a lot of things, but it really struggled with Aquatic Paleophis. At least I did, because of the amount of venom it did. So I did not have an amazing time on Elasmo, but it is really fun to play. Against other matchups, it can basically kill anything in the ocean, unless it's a group of Aquatic Snakes, because at one point you just have no ability power, and you're kind of just a sitting duck waiting to be killed, which is kind of sad. But it does do good against everything else, so I'm going to put that into C tier. Chrono Source, the apex predator of the ocean, or it should be, but it's not. Chrono Source really struggles against basically everything unless it gets the initial lunge on it and maybe a double bite. But if it doesn't get that, it kind of just loses to all of its matchups. On Elasmo, I could kill Chronos with ease because I could just outrange them, kind of. And with Moses' recent dart buffs, it just completely outskills Chrono. I I don't know this for certain. I'm just basing off of the Chronos I fought, but maybe I'll make a Chrono video and try it out. I haven't played it in a long time, so maybe I should. I'm going to put that into D tier. I say that because I haven't played Chrono much, and I don't really know. But I haven't seen any Chronos do well on official 2, so D tier it is. Mosasaurus. Mosasaurus, with its recent dot buffs, is really good, I've seen. It's, it could basically just dot infinitely, it was kind of crazy. Against other matchups, it does really well. Paleo, mm, it, it kind of depends if it's a fair fight, I suppose. If it's a 1v1, Mosa wins. 1v2, Mosa probably wins. Kind of just depends how good the Moza is and how good its strafing it is and how big it is and its build. But generally, it does pretty well against most most things. Survivability, it's it is one of the best survivabilities in my opinion. It could eat Chinlia to like 5.0 pretty easily. That's what a lot of people did. My experience on Moza was really fun, so I say B tier. Aquatic Paleophis. Now this is a bit of a um. A strange one because it's got three sub builds but i'm just gonna try and do all of them so aquatic paleophis is really strong in my opinion it is too overpowered it does too much venom especially to elasma but whatever semi-aquatic i haven't played it actually i need to make a video on that while playing it i i don't really know how this plays out land paleo i had a lot of fun playing it could kill basically everything except Rex and Acro, I believe, or at least that's what I couldn't kill. But it is honestly a really good playable. The devs did a really good job um, making that, so... Hmm. I'd say... Probably S tier. I know that's Glazing Snake, but it is such a good playable. It can also grow like 7.0 on officials because of Chinlia. Against every other matchup, it kind of wins, honestly just wins every matchup if the snake plays right. So I'm going to put that into S tier with Snake, Apatosaurus, and Cychania. The last of our aquatics is Archelon. Other matchup, it kind of really just depends on skill, but on average, I'd say it could do pretty well against Moza and Chrono, but Elasmo and Paleo, it really struggles with, so it doesn't do great. However, if you have a coordinated group and you know what you're doing, it can really easily be a very, very strong playable. My experience on Arclan was really fun, um, but I died because I went onto land to chase Rexes and Acros logged in, so that was a bit of an L from my part. So I'm honestly going to put Arclan in A tier. It does really well if you know what you're doing. I haven't played it since Paleo release, so I don't really know how it does against Paleo properly, so... A tier. This is my final list for Beast Muda All Dinosaurs. Let me know in the comments if you disagree or think something's too high on the list or something's too low on this. I'd love to hear it. 
this is basically my opinion. If you don't like it, then I don't know. Cry about it. <laughs> Goodbye.